going to show you my travel bag really quick, what I've got in it. Um, now that school has started back up, I am going to be in the car a lot, um, waiting for uh, kids in the lot after school. Uh, dance is going to be starting up, so there will be an hour where I will be sitting at uh, dance while my daughter is there. So I love having things to work with in the car. Um, I either sit and read, or if I know that there's something that I want to work on, I've got everything that I need in my bag, and I just take it with me, and it's working really, really well for me. So I just wanted to share with you what I've got. Here are my two journals. I usually take one of these with me, just kind of depending what I want to work on. This is a moleskin sketch, and it has the thicker pages in it. They're more kind of like cardstock. And this is more of my journal where I am really trying to just work things out visually. I do better um, working things out with pictures and uh, words that I've clipped from magazines and things like that. So that's where, this is the book where I do that in. And then this is also a moleskin and it is graph paper because I just love the look of graph paper. The pages are not thick like they are in the other moleskin. But this one is more just kind of like a glue book. And Boy, I, you know, it's really hard sometimes for me to decide if I want to work in this one or if I want to work in this one because sometimes what I'm going to do would fit in both. So I'm kind of just trying to make this more where I put pictures that I really like and just gluing things down and things that make me happy and um, and just, just stuff like this. This would probably be is a lot more deep. Um, this is more fun. This is fun too, but this is more therapeutic and just when I'm really, really trying to work on something. Um, so I usually take one of these, if not both. And then I picked up these folders at Target over the summer when they started getting school supplies out. I thought it would be good just to keep images in it to take with me so at least they are in something. Um, before I used to just kind of shove them in with my journal and I since I want to be more spontaneous in some of the things that I work on especially at dance when I have that hour if I don't necessarily kind of have something already in my mind that I want to work on I can grab these and I've got um, images in it already just you know, things that I like that I can look through here and maybe find something that I want to use to put in my journal. So this is floral and outdoors, and I need to put labels on these because I haven't figured it out yet. This is Faith, and there's a lot of um, scriptures that I've cut from Life Beautiful magazine and uh, photo, just uh, images, and these are all articles actually that I just kind of wanted to read that I pulled from Life Beautiful magazine. And let's see, I just showed you that one. This one is just objects. So here's like some books and just, you know, just things. This is people and exercise, health and fitness. I got uh, yoga pictures. I really love yoga, pictures of people doing yoga poses. Um, it's just, I, I don't know. I, I, so that's what's over here. And these are just people. And then this one is actually empty right now. I just picked this one up the other day because I had to have it because it's really neat. Except it's covered with glitter and it's getting glitter all over my car. So I think I might put my Right Brain Planner pages and my Art Journal Emporium pages in here. And that way I've got some of those and they're protected in a folder. So my bag, I got it at Target. I got this, it's been many months. It's probably been since, boy, I don't know, spring or earlier. And I found this on clearance at my Target. It is a makeup bag. I found it in the makeup section of the store. And the brand is, it's right in here. 
The brand is Contents by Allegro. And I paid, I think, $14 for this. It was around $14. I don't remember what it was originally. I think it was probably around $20 or so. But that's the brand. So it has two pockets on the outside. And I like them because they're, they get bigger at the bottom. So it, it holds the bulk, the bulk of stuff because it kind of spreads out. And then it has two plastic zipper pockets in the middle. So I like to keep my little Fiskars cutter with me because it, first of all, it fits in there perfect. But um, I like it so that when I'm trimming down images for this, I can cut it and I have nice straight lines. So I have that in there. And then this side is all washi tape. That's all that's in this side. So I just tried to put some of my favorites and at least have one of each color. So, you know, a red, a yellow, a green, a blue, a purple. Then this side I have some deli paper because I use that in between my pages to, uh, you know, to work on to keep things from sticking together. So I have a couple of sheets of deli paper and I also, um, when I'm gl putting glue on, I use one piece to lay my image on to put glue on and then the other piece I put in my journal to protect the pages. And that way it protects the table that I'm working on, wherever I'm at. Um, I have a paper sack for trash. I have, there's more deli paper. These are just envelopes for the patterns, for the pattern pattern of the envelopes inside. This is um, an ink pad and these are stamps for my planner. And I don't know if I'm going to keep this in here or not because I really don't use them that much in my planner anymore. I'm going to set that to the side. I've got a ruler, some little page tabs. I have some distress stains to use um, in my Midori. Let me go grab that really quick. Okay, I had to really go grab it. It was it was off in the car. Um, I use use the uh, stains on my pages. I just started doing that. The little ink does this with hers, and I absolutely love it. I love the way that it looks. So, you know, I think this is the only page that I've done it on. But they do not seep through the um, the pages of the. This is a Midori craft booklet. So I have some colors of, of the Distress Stains so that I can work in this if I want to. So this is another book that I that I have that I can work on. So I kind of have things that, to use in this and then I have things to use in my um, moleskins. So I've got glue stick and a cotton baby washcloth because I use these to rub on the images after I put them in my journal. I use the baby white, the baby washcloth, cotton, it's a dry cotton washcloth to rub down the image to get the bubbles out. And I've got some white pens and a black marker, a black stabilo, a water brush to use with the stabilo. There's another black marker and a pencil, a couple of erasers, a sharpener, my scissors, a backup glue stick, another mar black marker, and this is just a little watercolor palette that I actually found at Target. It's a Daler Rowney watercolor palette. I found this at Target for, gosh, I think it was on clearance for about six dollars. So I've got that in there. So that's what's on this side. Oh, and I've got the little paintbrush palette. I have a little pair of tweezers just to help me put down smaller clippings of words and uh, from magazines and books and stuff. So that is this side and it all fits in here really really nicely. And I'm not going to put it in there as nice as it was before. And then in the middle here, um, I used to have some pens in here and I really wasn't using them. And since I decided I wanted to work more in this booklet in my Midori, I added more Project Life type items in here. 
So these are things that I can use in, in this booklet, and I've got some just stickers and whatnot that I can use in my, in my planner. So I really don't decorate my planner, my calendar part of my planner at all. It's just, it's words and that's it. But on this side I have some postcards from art shows in town. I've picked those up whenever I see them or whenever we get them in the mail just because I like using them for tip-ins. And just some Project Life goodies, more page tabs. All of these came from Target probably. Um, yep. Just little envelopes to put goodies in. More page tabs, both from Smashbooking and Target. And I've got a little, this is full of little pictures that I've already printed off. So there's me and my beautiful daughter, Abby. And just these were just printed off on uh, my picture mate that I've got. So just kind of extra pictures. Oh, oh, it's my baby. It's my doggy Sophie. We had to put her to sleep in January. I didn't know that was in there. Um, that, that okay. Now I'm. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, and now I'm rattled. Um, all right, I have to regroup. Just a minute. Okay. All right, I'm back. Um, had to take some deep breaths. <laughs> the um, haven't gotten over that at all, and that was January 6th of this year. Um, and it's September and actually you know I have to think about it every school day because I drive by the vet every day where we had to take her um, I need to change my route because that's not working for me um, so in this other pocket I have just a smash pad and I I like this blank one because well it's blank it, you know it's just it's not really specific about any event and then I just have a bunch of different project life cards that I've gotten here and there I've got the smaller ones, and then there's some of the bigger cards in here, if I can get these out. And these are great for tip-ins also. And there's some washi tape on a piece of paper. These are just all little, just kind of border stickers, so the, the sticker strips. And then this is more Project Life type, just little embellishments, and I just have them in a bag so that, uh, you know, it's easier to, they don't get lost. But there's just all sorts of little goodies in there, because I really, really want to start doing more in this. Um, I have a lot of fun working in this, and it's, I still haven't completely decided what I want this to be. So I. I kind of work on it and then I stop and it's like, well, do I want this to be a smash book? Do I want this to be more like a journal? Do I want it to be both? Um, so I, you know, I just need to work on it because sitting there and thinking about all of that, it's keeping me from working in this and I really have a lot of fun um, working in this. So that's why I have all of these things. It's for in here. And I think that's about it. That's all I keep in here. I don't have any pens or markers or anything like that. I, I used to, and I discovered that I really wasn't using them um, for what I was working on. Because with even in my collage journal, I usually only just use the, the, a white paint pen or a black one. And I figured that if I got all of the gluing down of images and whatnot, that part done, wherever I'm at, I can do the detailed pin work here at home. Um, and I do, on occasion, take my big rose book with me with all my rose, roses in it if I am, am specifically working on a page in my big collage journal. Um, but I figured that, you know, it's just easier to work in this while I'm out because it's smaller. The other thing that I keep in my bag, besides this stuff, just to take with me because if I don't totally know what I'm going to work on, is, is this. It's my um, secret garden coloring book. And, you know, coloring books are so huge right now. And I, I haven't done anything in it, but I finally started coloring the outside. So this is just the outside cover, and I am using my, um, my Prismacolor pencils. So 
those are all in here in this bag and I just have a pencil sharpener and an eraser. But I keep this with me also in my sack. So whenever I'm going somewhere in my bag, I have these, I have my color book, and I've got a journal, and my pencils, and I've got this. So that is it. I um, It seems like there should be more to this, but there's not. Um, I just have moved things around several times and I think I've finally gotten it where it's holding what I need and it, it works great. It, this works absolutely great for me in the car. So I definitely recommend you looking at makeup bags to use for a travel bag for your art supplies. They have so many different ones. Target has all sorts of neat ones. They have fun prints of fabric. They have ones that are more rectangle like a little suitcase, but they have all sorts of pockets and cubbies and things like that on the inside that are perfect for organizing organizing your supplies. Um, well, I think that's it. And actually, gosh, I have to go run and pick up my son, so I'm going to take this with me because I'll be sitting in the parking lot for about 20 minutes. So I hope you guys had a great day today, and I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please be sure to ask in the comments, and I just realized that this is all wobbly. I'm in my kitchen on the table, so every time I move, you're shaking. Um, so have a fantastic day, and I will share more with you later on this week. Bye-bye.